day five Zoomering science experiment. Uh, this one is called mining cereal. Cool. Okay, so this is one cup of total cereal and um, chose that due to the high iron content and we are actually going to mine the iron out of this cereal. So first thing you want to do is make sure that you have some bags with a thick um, mills like like th this one that I have here is even thicker than like a freezer bag. Um, that's not a requirement if you can't get a hold of that but when the kids are smashing the cereal it might pop holes in the bag. So that's up to you. Um, you do want to have some pretty strong spoons and what we're going to do here is we're going to have the kids put their thumb into the bowl of the spoon and just smash, 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 smash. Grind up their cereal. That's going to take them a few minutes to do that until it is very powdery like this. Okay, very small. The smaller, the better. Okay, then they will dump the contents into a bowl and add a cup of warm water. I think I might have a little bit more than a cup in here, so I'm just going to put enough until it looks a little bit soupy. Now, the cereal is going to absorb a bunch of this and then it'll get pretty thick. Um, if it gets too thick, I will just add a little bit more water. But for now, this is, this is a good consistency. And this is going to have to sit here for about three to five minutes. All right, it's been a few minutes. Three to five minutes have gone by. This is a little bit dry. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little more water because I still want it to be a little bit soupy because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go mining for some iron. Okay, just stir that around a bit. The purpose of waiting those few minutes was just so that the water could break down the cereal and that way the iron gets released. So what I will do now is I will make sure I have a piece of paper towel. Um, I have some fresh water that I will rinse my magnet in. Here is the magnet that I'm going to use. Okay, I just ordered these online. Um, and then again, I have pre taped white cardstock for this one. Okay, so here I go. I'm going to mine my cereal. I'm just going to run this magnet through there. I'm going to stir it all up with my magnet. And then when I think I've done it enough, you know, just let everyone go for a little while. I'm going to dip it into some fresh water just to get that excess cereal off of there. Now, I want to dry this magnet, but I don't want to wipe off any iron that I might have mined. So I'm going to very gently just pat it gently, okay, to get the excess water off of there. Then I'm going to either get a piece of tape or open my tape. And I'm going to wipe this magnet. I'm going to like just flip it all over this piece of tape. And you can, however you want to do it. Well, the kids, however they want to do it. They're kind of using the tape to clean off the magnet is what they're doing. And when they put this back down, they are going to see the iron. So, day five, mining cereal. So, day five science experiments, fabulous fingerprints. And you can talk to the kids how everybody's fingerprints are unique. All right, uh, for this one, you have some options. You can either pre-prep everyone, everything that they need, or you can just have like, a bowl with some lotion, a bowl with some uh, baby powder. Uh, you can give them each a small little piece of some fuzzy fabric, or you can just put a big piece out on the table. Up to you, however you want to handle that. 
OK, so for this one, I pre-taped my black card stocks. You don't have to do that. But for the kids, it was easier. I found it to be easier for them that all they had to do was peel this back. It's a double layer of tape. And then whenever they did their fingerprinting with the lotion and the baby powder and then rubbed it, they could just put it there and then close it. OK, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to start with some lotion. OK, so I'm going to get the lotion on my finger. Don't need very much. And then I'm going to dip that into the baby powder. OK, and then very lightly at the just the tops of my fuzzy material. I don't want to push down because I don't want to wipe all of the powder off. I just want to wipe the excess off. And then my finger still has a little bit of powder there that will be in the grooves, OK? Then I will either open my tape if I've pre-taped or have a piece of tape there for myself. I'll open this. I will put it down. And then when I close that, I've got my fingerprint. So that's uh, day five, fabulous fingerprints.